guys. Uh, my name's Jack and I study a Bachelor in Civil Engineering and Architecture at the University of Wollongong in Australia. I recently was a uh, member of the 2019 uh, Engineering, Environment and Urban Planning placement in Vietnam. It was an amazing opportunity which I really enjoyed and I'd probably say that my biggest inspiration to uh, give it a go and uh, volunteer overseas was the opportunity to just have such an enormous impact and get so close to the lives of these people who are really in need. So for me, heading into the experience was a huge mixture of excitement um, and anticipation and nerves as well. Um, I don't believe there, there is any amount of, of training that can fully prepare you for a placement experience like this. But you know, that's also a big part of what it's about. Uh, it's important to remember that many of the skills and lessons that you might hope to uh, learn or develop over there, they can only actually be learned from being in the situations uh, and working through problems that present themselves unexpectedly to you. So my placement involved assisting a remote village in northern Vietnam in gaining access to sanitary drinking water, basically. And we centred our work around a human-centred design approach in which the needs and wants of the local uh, population really governed all of the major design decisions that we made. So firstly, uh, we went around the entire village and uh, we talked uh, with the local people about the water issues that they'd been facing. Um, and we then came up with several design options uh, and ideas for solutions based on this information. And we proposed these ideas to the community to gain their thoughts and input towards those ideas. So the proposals, uh, mainly they looked into uh, solutions such as the construction of slow sand filters, there was the pumping of water from a nearby well, which we considered, and also installing point of use filtration devices uh, in the local households. The, uh, the final design was developed to incorporate the consensus of opinion as to what the local people thought would best suit their needs uh, following the human centered design. It was clear that right from, like, right from the outset of this placement, it was just undoubtedly clear to me that it would be unlike any internship opportunity that I could access within Australia. Working in a foreign country, it just places you in this, in an environment that really puts you out of the comfort zone and it challenges you to adapt your skills to all new kinds of situations. So in terms of employability, I would hands down say that a um, placement through development together is probably one of your best opportunities in terms of developing skills uh, that enable you to stand out from the crowd. It's it just, it's like nothing else. It, it'll put you in um, places that you just, you're not gonna get into, you know, within a, a normal commercial environment. I'd say that one of the best moments of my placement uh, was seeing the joy on the faces of the local people while we worked beside them. That was something, it, it gave me a real, a kind of feeling of purpose um, in the work we were doing and it kind of made all the tough times that we had just seem irrelevant and, and worth it you know. I think uh, advice for anyone thinking about going on one of these placements, um, look it's a hard decision to make and you know I know you leave behind your holidays and, and your family and everyone back from where you are but um, if you give it a go and you put your best in it'll really come out to be well worth it and uh, you won't regret it.